Hi, my name is Glenn, Glenn Murray Pryor, and uh, I'm a bungee jump master. The fear is what it's all about. It's about taking yourself to a situation which is extraordinary, and it's extraordinary for everybody to stand on an edge 140 meters just with a rubber band on your feet. Hi, ich bin der Lukas. Ich habe vor, aus einer Gondel rauszuspringen mit dem Strick an den Füßen. So, ich bin der Marco Trentini und wir sind jetzt gerade auf dem Weg auf die Seilbahn. Ich bin der Tim Fecklin und ich gehe nach dem Bungee Jumpen. Also ich bin jetzt der Louis und ich bin eigentlich kurz davor, dass wir jetzt einen Bungee Jump machen aus der Gondel. During the summer, this gondola is kind of available to us outside of the ski season. So we use it, we go out to the middle of the valley there, about 140 meters high. We open the doors and we throw people out. Uh, you know, you do see people who, who try to tell you that uh, they're not scared or that uh, it doesn't even give them a, a thrill. But they're lying. Uh, there's always, you know, you'd have to be crazy to stand at uh, 140 meters above the ground on the edge and, and not feel some anticipation, you know. Basically what happens when you're coming to the edge and you get to that edge, your legs start to tell you perhaps, you know, this isn't where I should, where we should be going. So uh, often with a lot of fear, your digestive system shuts down entirely. I mean, all of your energy is going to your limbs. Uh, it's going to your, uh, you start to tremble with adrenaline and you're ready for action, you know. Um, and this is why people, when they're afraid, often the, the breath can be a little bad perhaps and, uh, and the, the legs get a bit wobbly. People tend to lean back a bit and of course hold on very tight to us or to whatever they can. So that's our job is to get them on that edge, you know, get the white knuckles, get their hands off whatever they're holding on to and get them to stand up straight and be ready. There's often a lot of smiling and laughing around uh, and that's a good thing. Wie ist es? Mega, mega cool. Es war super Erfahrung. Es ist ziemlich hoch. Es war höher als erwartet. Man hat einen relativ langen, zeitfreien Fall. Aber, äh Hammer. Also ich würde es sehr gerne wieder machen. Und das Panorama war wundervoll. I think of fear as something which has, has a balance. There's a fear reward, so risk reward kind of ratio. And I think that that's na in nature. You know, uh, if we were ever climbing around in the trees, we could run out of food in one tree, but we have to make that leap to the next tree. And potentially there we find more food or we find more friends. So making that leap you make it and the adrenaline hits you and then you get this 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 great reward you feel good and i think that's nature telling you yeah well done you took a risk and you're going somewhere now you know um, and i think that that's the thing we don't come away from having extreme fear feeling really bad we actually come away feeling great and we feel pumped we feel motivated and we're ready for the next thing so fear for me is this stepping stone journey that you can take. Take little risks, get the rewards, and then you can continue to do that and continue to feel great each time. Ich bin jetzt der letzte, der gekumpelt. Die anderen drei sind schon gegangen und es hat relativ gut ausgesehen. Also der erste, der gegangen ist, war mega ruhig und mega cool. Und äh, es hat mega, mega so frei ausgesehen halt. Zwischendurch habe ich das Gefühl, ich bin mega ruhig und dann irgendwie schaust du wieder ab und dann ist, kommt wieder so ein die Nervosität auf. Und das ist, man denkt einfach immer an das Gefühl, das man hat, in dem Moment, wo man dann wirklich dort vorne steht. Ähm, aber ich glaube nicht, dass man sich das wirklich richtig kann vorstellen kann, bevor, bevor ich jetzt nach vorne gehe. Aber ja, ich freue mich mega. Ich bin mega gehypt. Es war mega, mega, mega crazy. Gewesen. Ich habe es so voll befreiend. Ich glaube, ich bin der Einzige, der geschlagen hat. <lacht> Aber ähm, es ist so voll, ich weiß nicht, mega sprachlos. Es war mega cool. Gewesen. <lacht>